Okay, I hope uh, that went well for you. Let's check it out and see how you did. So uh, to write perimeter for this rectangle, first we'll do 2 plus 3C minus 8. So that took care of these two sides. Now I need to add in this side, plus 2, again, because it's equal to its opposite side. And then plus 3C minus 8 for this side. All right, how did you do? Check yours. It may not be in this order. The, the order um, can change a little bit. You might have started with the 3C minus 8 and then added the 2 and then 3C minus 8 and then another 2 down here. Or maybe you started with 2 and added 2 in. doesn't matter which order you did these, just so that you have all of the terms in there. And you do need to leave the 3C minus 8 in that order. You can't change that. That's got to stay the way it is. Then finally for our area, again we're going to use our parentheses because of our order of operations here. We don't want to multiply 2 times 3C and then subtract 8. We want to take 3C, subtract 8, and then multiply it by 2. So again we would read this 2 times the quantity 3C minus 8. And that's how our area looks for that one. Hope you had a, a good success with that. Now you're going to practice a little bit with an assignment. And it's called um, Writing Expressions. Number one, so it says 1G Expressions, number one at the top. Um, one thing that's a little different on these, here it says, what is the perimeter of the rectangle in terms of D? That just means that we're going to leave the D in there. Now we're not replacing the D with a number. So for this first one, what is the perimeter of the rectangle in terms of D? Um, I'm, I see one side is 7D and the opposite side is 7D. One side is 2 and the opposite side is 2. So right up here I'm just going to write 7D plus 7D plus 2 plus and again, remember the order isn't important as long as I keep the 7D together. Then down here it says what is the area of the rectangle in terms of D. Again, that just means that we're leaving that D in there. We're not substituting a number in for it. So area, remember, is length times width. So we would do 2 times 7D. I put that in parentheses um, again because we want to multiply the 7 times D before we multiply it by 2. Um, but with multiplication it would have been okay just to write 2 times 7D. That would have been fine as well. So you've got five more problems there. Go ahead and try those and we'll check those in class.